Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% plus Alpha Arbutin 2%. Now, I know that you guys love a vitamin C serum as much as I do, and for a while I've been using the Drunk Elephant C Firma, which is a fantastic vitamin C serum. And for a while I was using the vitamin C derivatives, but I really wanted to use an ascorbic acid vitamin C serum, which is what led me to use the Drunk Elephant one, which I have been enjoying very, very much. The only thing that puts me off is the price. It is quite an expensive serum. So I thought that I would look into a more affordable option that also contains ascorbic acid. And I realized that I haven't actually tried this one from The Ordinary. So I thought that I would purchase it, give it a go and try it out for a little while so I could also share my feedback with you lot. Before I get started, I will just quickly let you know what the benefits are from using a vitamin C serum. Vitamin C comes in various different forms, but ascorbic acid or L-ascorbic acid is known as the gold standard in vitamin C. It's the most studied ingredient from all the different varieties that you have out there, and it's shown to give the best results on the skin. But the main drawback to using this is it is very unstable, so you have to use it up relatively quickly when you use it in a serum form. The reason why this is a great ingredient to look out for in your skincare routine is because it will act as an antioxidant on your skin when used during the day. Antioxidants protect the skin from UV light and also pollution, which can cause the skin to age. With continued long-term use, ascorbic acid is known to help reduce collagen in the skin. It will help prevent and remove fine lines in the skin as well. So if you're interested in keeping your skin looking younger, fresher and healthier for longer, then it's definitely something that you could use in your skincare routine every day. One of the other benefits is that it is also brightening on the skin. So if you are looking to tackle hyperpigmentation or just generally dull skin, then it will also help with that. Now, because this particular product from The Ordinary also contains alpha arbutin, I would say that out of all the different vitamin C ready mixed serums that you've got from The Ordinary, this will be a really good option for brightening skin. This is a really simple formula. It's literally got the ascorbic acid, the alpha arbutin, and then one other ingredient that acts as a carrier. I can't pronounce the name, so I'm going to put it on the screen now. Now, the ordinary say that this is an oil-free formula. The carrier that I just mentioned isn't an oil, but I think that it does feel very oily on the skin. That is what I would say is the main drawback to this product, is even though it is oil-free, it does feel very oily. If your skin is more on the dehydrated to dry side, then I think that this could be okay for you. However, if you have got oily skin, then you need to be careful which other products that you use in addition to this in your skincare routine, because it might just cause your skin to become too oily and greasy. Now, some experts say that a simpler ingredient list is better because people with sensitive skin are less likely to have a reaction if they know exactly what's in the ingredients list and they can avoid it. So a simpler inky list in some cases is better, and this is definitely on the simpler side. Now, with that being said, I do feel that this has the potential to be quite irritating on a lot of people's skin. I know that the first time that I used this, I definitely found that it stung slightly when I applied it to the skin and it made my face feel quite red and sensitive. It took me a while to get to grips with this because it made my skin feel slightly sensitive and because it also felt very oily on the skin, it took a minute to work out how to use it without my skin feeling irritated and also how to apply the right amount so my face just didn't feel overloaded with product. Now I love oil-based products. I often use the African Botanics Marula Oil in the evening and I find that it just tops off my skincare routine nicely and everything just soaks in. Now even though this isn't an oil-based product, I will just say again that it does feel very oily but Unfortunately, it doesn't uh, soak into the skin as well as I find that regular oils do, which is rather unfortunate. I'll just show you a little bit on my hands. You can see that it's still nice and fresh, so it's still clear like water. But over time, I imagine this will begin to oxidize because it is in the, the dropper bottle and then it will start to turn golden and then brown. Now, bearing in mind, I use lots of different actives on my skin, so 
I would say that my skin is more on the tolerant side and less towards the sensitive side. So if you haven't used a vitamin C product before or you find that your skin is quite sensitive, then I would say that there are other serums from The Ordinary that you should consider before this one. But if you are looking for a vitamin C serum on a budget and you're specifically looking to tackle hyperpigmentation, dark spots or dull skin, then this could be an option for you, especially if your skin is on the drier to dehydrated side. And then you might appreciate the slightly oilier finish that this has. When applying this to my face, I found that the perfect ratio for me is three drops and then that will cover my entire face perfectly. I think that it's quite easy with the ordinary products to overload them and apply too much because they're affordable and you can afford to use them generously so a lot of people think that they'll apply more of the product and then they'll get more intense results or faster results but I think that in the case of this particular product it's best to use a smaller amount to get better results. A, because this formula definitely works better with a smaller amount and B, because if you use too much of this then you are going to be more prone to irritation on the skin. You are definitely going to need to cocktail this with some additional ingredients to create a well-rounded skincare routine. I definitely recommend some other type of product that's also hydrating and I also recommend another type of antioxidant as well. The Ordinary also have Frulic Acid and Resveratrol, which I think that will accompany this very nicely for a full, well-rounded antioxidant serum. And in terms of hydration, my all-time favourite is the Marine Hyaluronics. In contrast, that has a super lightweight finish to it, so I would recommend using the Marine Hyaluronics in the morning after cleansing your face and then mixing no more than three drops of this with one or two drops of the Frulic Acid and Resveratrol. And then you'll have a simple but well-rounded skincare routine that you could just top off with some moisturizer or eye cream and then finish off essentially with some SPF 30 or higher. In the UK, this retails at £10, which is an excellent price that you can't argue with for any type of vitamin C product. If the idea of that slightly greasy texture puts you off and you think that it won't be a good match for your skin type, but you also want an ascorbic acid serum, then I suggest that you create a routine using the 100% L-ascorbic acid powder by The Ordinary, which is also super affordable, and you've got the option to mix that with any other type of ingredient to create a vitamin C serum that has the right texture and also beneficial ingredients for your skin type. I've done a couple of different reviews on the l acid powder by The Ordinary, which I will link down below. And in those videos, I show you how to use it in an AM or PM routine and also an overview and review of the product. It's so nice to be back with another skincare video after taking quite a long break. I've missed you guys. Thank you all for your kind comments and messages either here or over on my Instagram. It's really nice to connect with you all and I just want to say thank you for coming back to watch my videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and I will see you hopefully very soon in another video.